my sleepy friend. I have a quick message for grown-ups. So many of you have reached out asking how you can support the show. And now there's a way. I've set up a Patreon where your donations come with special prizes, including Cozy Critter stickers, personalized messages from Miss Meow Meow and me, and your kiddo being part of the show's credits. If you'd like to support Cozy Critters, visit CozyCritterspodcast.com. Oh, what's this, Miss Meow Meow? We have a lot of incoming messages. Let's see who it could be. Hey, Daddy Pickles, can we learn about cheetahs? Hi, my name is Lincoln, and I'm from Arizona, and I like the next show to be cheetahs. Please. Hi, I'm Freddie, and I'm from England, and I really love cheetahs, and I like to hear about cheetahs, please. I'm James and I'm six years old and I'm from Canada and I'd like to hear a song about the fastest land animal. The cheetah! Hi, Daddy Pickles and Miss Meow Meow. I want to give you a suggestion of, about my favorite animal in the whole wide world, a cheetah. My name is Dover. I'm from Canada, and I want a story from a cheetah. Thank you. My name is Azzy, and, and I'm seven years old, and I'm from um, Toronto, Canada, and I really want to learn about cheetahs. My name is Bray, and I live in Arizona, and, and, I, and I like cheetahs because they're fast. You're right. Cheetahs are a wonderful suggestion. Thank you so much to David from Virginia, Lincoln from Arizona, Freddie from England, James from Canada, Gabrielle from Missouri, Oliver from Canada, Azzy from Toronto, and Blair from Arizona for requesting this episode's Cozy Critter. And a big thank you also to Wilder from Minnesota and Maya from the United Kingdom who sent in written requests. Now, on with the show. Hey, howdy, and hippopotamus high fives, my sleepy friends. It's your old pal, Dougie Pickles, and I'm here with my sidekick, the sleepiest cat in all the land, Miss Meow Meow. Tonight, we're heading to the vast, open grasslands of Africa to meet a creature that's faster than a race car, has spots like a Dalmatian, and is cooler than a superhero. I'm talking about cheetahs. Did you know they're the fastest land animal on Earth? These big cats are built for speed, strength, and stealth. And we're about to discover what makes them so amazing. I'd love to hear a joke, Miss Meow Meow. Hmm, why don't cheetahs play hide and seek? (laughs) Because they're always spotted. I love that one, Miss Meow Meow. Let's get our magical traveling balloon ready. I need your help blowing it up. So, take in a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Great job. Just one more time, my sleepy friend. Take in a deep breath through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. You did it. Now our magic balloon is all blown up. Tonight, our balloon is decorated with golden fur, black spots, and a big, swishy cheetah tail. My sleepy friend, 
Are you ready to meet a cheetah? Let's get in the magical hot air balloon basket. And here we go. First, we rise up high above your bedroom, then higher and higher and even higher until you can see your whole city beneath you. Our friend the wind takes us over a vast open landscape with large smooth rock formations and storks fly alongside us. I wonder if they think we're a stork too. Oh look, we're here. Can you guess where we are? Let's use our noses and see what we can smell. Take in a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. It smells like warm golden grass, earthy red soil, and a whisper of wildflowers carried by the breeze with a hint of rain-soaked air just before a thunderstorm. We are floating over southern Africa where the golden grasslands stretch as far as the eye can see with rolling hills, scattered trees, and warm breezes rushing through the tall grass. This is the savanna, home to some of the most incredible animals on earth, including our speedy cheetah friends. Oh wow, look what Miss Meow Meow just spotted. Do you see it over there, moving through the grass? its golden fur blending right in. Cheetahs have black spots all over their bodies, kind of like a giant house cat with polka dots. And do you see those black lines running from their eyes down to their mouths? Those are called tear marks, and they help keep the bright sun out of their eyes kind of like built-in sunglasses. Let's talk about cheetah's speed. Cheetahs can run up to 70 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car zooming down the highway. And they can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in just three seconds. That's faster than most race cars. And check this out. When cheetahs run, their feet barely touch the ground. They stretch out their long bodies like a spring, then push off with their powerful legs, soaring through the air like they're flying. And look at that long, swishy tail. It works like a rudder on a boat, helping them steer while they run. Cheetahs don't just run fast. They also accelerate faster than any land animal, which means they can go from standing still to full speed in just a few heartbeats but they can't keep running at top speed for too long because it takes a lot of energy. So after a short, powerful sprint, they need to rest. I bet you would like being a cheetah, Miss Meow Meow. After a big sprint, they love to find a shady tree and take a nice, long cat nap. Did you know cheetahs can't roar like lions? Instead, they purr and cheep, cheep, cheep like little birds when they call to each other, which is called 
a chirrup. And what about baby cheetahs? Baby cheetahs are called cubs, and they are so adorable. When they're born, they have extra fuzzy fur on their backs called a mantle, which helps them blend into the tall grass and look like a honey badger, an animal that most predators don't want to mess with. Speaking of cubs, cheetah moms are incredible. A mother cheetah takes care of her babies all on her own, teaching them how to stalk, chase, and pounce. When the cubs are little, they play all the time, practicing their hunting skills by chasing each other, wrestling, and pouncing on mom's tail. And when they're big enough, their mom shows them how to hunt. Cheetahs don't hunt at night like lions do. They love the daylight because their sharp eyesight helps them spot animals from far away. And here's a super cool fact. Cheetahs don't need to drink water every day. Since they live in hot places, they get most of their water from the food they eat, like gazelles and small antelopes. And get this, cheetahs are the only big cats that aren't very strong tree climbers. That's because their claws don't fully retract like a lion's or a leopard's, which helps those animals climb trees better. But a cheetah's claws actually help them run faster because they're like built-in running shoes with extra grip. Watching these cheetahs reminds me, sometimes speed isn't just about running fast. It's about knowing when to go, when to rest, and when to chase your dreams. Cheetahs show us that being focused, determined, and patient can help us reach our goals, no matter how fast or slow we go. It looks like the cheetahs are finding a shady tree to rest under. I'm pretty tired too, and Miss Meow Meow is already fast asleep right here in my lap. How about you, my sleepy friend? Are you ready to head home and dream of that speedy, beautiful creature called the cheetah? Well then, let's head home. Here we go. First, We rise up high over the snoozing cheetahs, then higher and even higher until you can see the whole savanna below us. Our friend the wind takes us over a vast open landscape with large smooth rock formations and storks fly alongside us. I wonder if they think we're a stork too. While we head home, I thought of a lullaby I want to share with you. It goes like this. Run little cheetah, so fast, so free, gliding through grasslands as golden as the sea. The wind hums softly, The night is near. Close your eyes. There's nothing to fear. Cheetah, cheetah, the stars shine bright. Sleep in the glow of the moon's soft light. Tomorrow you'll chase. Tomorrow you'll play. But now, dear cheetah, dream the night away. 
Oh look, you're back home. Miss Meow Meow and I had such a wonderful time with you. We hope to see you soon when we visit our next animal friend, lions. Until next time, my sleepy friend. Toodaloo and cozy critter dreams too. Miss Meow Meow and I want to give a special thank you to our amazing Patreon supporters, Abram and Leah from Virginia. Cozy Critters is produced by me, Doug Frazier, and distributed by PRX. Make sure to subscribe to Cozy Critters on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the iHeartRadio app, or wherever you get your podcasts. 